Today's lesson is 4.1, Extended Multiplication Facts. Why do we need to know how to multiply extended multiplication facts? Well, that's a really good question. Um, that is going to help you later on to do more difficult multiplication. So as long as you know your basic facts, for example, if I know 3 times 5, I should be able to multiply 3,000 times 5. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, we need to know what our basic fact is. We need to know that 3 times 5 equals 15. If we know that basic fact, we can take any other fact that would be extended, which means that we're going to add zeros to some of those digits to multiply and be able to put those zeros back in our answers. So, for example, if I take the problem that I wrote underneath the 3,000 times 5, I'm going to multiply my basic fact, which is 3 times 5, which we just said equals 15. And then I'm going to count how many zeros that I have. 1, 2, 3. And I'm going to place those in my answer, which gives me an answer of 15,000. Let's say we have this basic fact of 4 times 5. All of you should know that 4 times 5 equals 20. So how do I take that basic fact and make it an extended fact? Well, I could take my 4 and turn it into 40, and I could take my 5 and turn it into 50. That would be one example. Another example would be 40 times 5. Another example would be 400 times 500. And hopefully you can see that with each of these problems, I have added a certain number of zeros. So all of these would be extended facts. How do we go about solving those using a basic fact? We've done this in class several times. So if we think about our basic fact in the blue colored problem here, we have 4 times 5, which gives us 20. And the important thing to remember is you need to write down your product to that basic fact before you count your zeros because sometimes your product will have a zero in it and you don't want to miscount and end up with the wrong answer by not counting that zero to begin with. So then we go back and we put in those zeros that were left. So we're going to add two zeros to our answer there and 40 times 50 would equal 2,000. If we do the same thing with the pink here, we have 4 times 5, which is our basic fact, which we just said was 20. And then we have one zero that we're going to put over here. So that answer would be 200. Our white problem at the bottom here, we've got 4 times 5, which is our basic fact. That equals 20. I'm going to come back. And I'm going to count how many zeros do I have? One, two, three, four. So when I come over to my answer, I'm going to add four zeros. One, two, three, four. Count out my three to put my comma in, and my answer would be 200,000. So in class, we will work together to develop a rule for multiplying ones by tens and hundreds, like some of the examples that I did, but you're going to work with some partners. And you're going to practice taking those basic facts and using them to multiply with extended facts. Thanks for watching.